Well, good morning. This morning we read from 2 Kings chapter 23 through to chapter 24 and verse 7. And we read about the revival under Joash, how he completely cleansed the land. He went back generations, destroying things, the uh, idols and false altars that have been in place since the time of Solomon. It was such a thorough and uh, complete revival in the land as he cleared out the land of all the uh, pagan idols. And when you read this story, you might think, well, that's all very good. What a fantastic revival. Surely the Lord blessed the land after this revival. But no, Joash was killed in battle with the uh, Pharaoh of Egypt and the land begins its decline towards captivity. And some would say, well, wasn't Joash's revival a waste of time? The Lord still was demanding justice because of the actions of his grandfather Manasseh, who had filled the streets of Jerusalem with innocent blood and had uh, sacrificed all kinds of uh, uh, things to false gods. And the Lord was still determined to judge Judah because of those sins. So wasn't Joash's revival a waste of time? The land still declined. He died in battle. Uh, and despite all of his determination for holiness, despite all of his determination to obey the covenants, still the land fell. And of course, that's true. You're reading the story right now. But what you have to remember is when Israel went into captivity, they kept to the Passover, something Joash had revived. They obeyed the law. They, led, they read the law. They studied the covenant. They kept the covenant until the Lord restored them. And even to this day, Jewish people keep the Passover, uh, study the law, keep the law, obey the law. Joash started a revival in his lifetime that though he didn't see the fruits of it, we are still seeing the fruits of today. We trust the Lord will use us too in such a powerful way that we will do things in our lifetime and even though we may not see the fruits of them, we trust that the Lord will use them for his glory into the future. The Lord bless you today in whatever your hand finds to do and may the Lord bless you as you seek to live for him. Amen.